fill the void Cristiano Ronaldo will leave in football once he retires? Well, his son, of course. Cristianinho looks set to follow his dad's footsteps. He's not alone. Here are the nine sons of footballers with big chances of carrying on their father's legacies. Number one, Cristianinho, the son of the son of Madeira. Cristiano Jr., sorry, Cristianinho, wants to be just like his dad, but also write his own name in football history. This is not a matter of if, but when. Cristianinho is already a gifted footballer. It may be through natural talent, or his genes, or hard work, which is also a family trait. The 11-year-old started his playing days in Madrid at local club Pozuelo de la Lacon, where he won his first trophies, including the highest goal scorer, of course. His father's transfers haven't hurt his career, rather, they made it skyrocket. Ronaldo's Juventus arrival included his kid joining their academy. He became a goal-scoring threat in Italy, picking up silverware along the way. Now, Cristianinho plays for Manchester United's under-12s, his career growing more serious by the year. And here's an incredible fact that you should jot down. Cristianinho is legally American. Born in the USA, he could opt to represent the USMNT in the future. The chances of him making it as a pro are incredibly high. And even if he doesn't, the Ronaldos have an abundance of young talent running around the house. The question is, will there be a single successor or an entire football dynasty? Number two, the Messies. Having Cristiano Ronaldo's son carry on the work of his father is a dream for football fans of the future. But what if we could carry on the Ronaldo-Messi rivalry too? Leo Messi is the father of three, Tiago, Mateo, and Ciro, and they are all taking after their father. I mean, when your dad is messy, even a pickup game is demanding. Just ask their dog. Tiago seems to be the one that's really interested in the game. Even if a few years back, Messi himself revealed his kids weren't really into it. Soon after, young Tiago joined La Masia's ranks and started scoring goals and drawing comparisons. Mateo, on the other hand, is just Mateo. Now, all three Messies are enrolled in the PSG Academy, but no footage has leaked of them. As per their professionalism, there's a stark contrast to Cristianinho. The Messies just want to have fun. Number three, Enzo Vieira, Marcelo Jr. Remember this video of Marcelo doing the bin challenge with Real Madrid's young ones? Do you think you can tell who his son is? How about now? Meet Enzo Aldez Vieira, Marcelo's son, wearer of the number 12 shirt and a Real Madrid prodigy. Born in Madrid in 2009, the kid has played in every rank of the formative process of Real's Fabrica, their very own Masia-type academy, and he has excelled as a striker. Yes, Marcelo Jr. isn't a wingback or a defender of any sorts. He's a center forward, and his reports are promising. He's a very gifted and powerful player, a forward of great mobility that always works for the team. He stands out for his sacrifice and consistency. He knows how to read the play well and finishes well, which guarantees a great number of goals. Sacrifice and consistency? Well, that's a family trait. While the talent comes from just being Brazilian at heart, Enzo is already used to the silverware. He's been lifting cups for as long as he could walk and put a Madrid shirt on. Enzo has a clear idol in football. Then it's not his dad, it's Kaka. Enzo was seen in this year's La Liga Promises tournament, scoring goals of all sorts, and with his dad, Marcelo, in the stands, cheering for him as his number one fan. Number four, Joel Mendes Asi de Moreira. Did the last name ring a bell? Yes, Joel Mendes is none other than Ronaldinho's son. Of course he is. Dino's son was born in 2005, meaning he's 16 years old and holds both a Brazilian and Spanish passport. He plays for the youth setup of the Brazilian giant Cruzeiro, a team that's just been bought by Ronaldo Nazario. And there's an incredible story about Joao's beginnings in football. At 14 years old, he did a trial with Cruzeiro, impressed everyone, and then signed his contract, but he didn't tell anyone he was Ronaldinho's son. Joao wants to make it in football by himself, something we respect and can really get behind. Number five, Shaquille Van Persie. Shaquille Van Persie, son of Robin, is on the verge of taking his first steps in professional football. The 15-year-old is a promising standout at his father's boyhood club, Feyenoord. Shaquille's young career is similar to that of Cristianinho, following his father wherever he has played. As a kid, he started his formation at Fenerbahce in Turkey. When RVP moved back to the Netherlands to retire, his kid made the switch too. Now, Shaquille is one of the most promising prospects in a country famous for producing impressive footballers. He also plays as a forward and has been bagging goals and awards as well. 
Now he has the perfect coach, too, his dad, who's been laying down the life and lessons of football for a while. I love you anyway. It doesn't matter to me whether you make it as a footballer or not. But you say this is your passion, so you have to take control of your life and stop complaining. Shaquille seems to be a carbon copy of his father, playing both as a forward and a left winger. And he's eligible for the Netherlands, England, and Morocco. Will he follow in his father's footsteps and play for Manchester United? Or will he betray Arsenal first? Just kidding. Number six, Kai Rooney. Proud day, Kai Rooney signing for Manchester United. Keep up the hard work, son. At just 10 years old, Kai Rooney committed himself to Manchester United, a club who's keen on signing up the youngest players. The son of the legend Wayne is now 11, and while there's no footage of him available yet, you'll easily understand why we are taking the time to talk about it. We are getting reports every week of his goal-scoring feats, netting a hat-trick against Stoke in a 6-3 win, or the tough 5-4 loss against bitter rivals Liverpool, where Kai scored all four goals for United. The legend of Kai is taking off over Twitter, where United fans comment on his talent and have tipped him to be the best Kai in England over Chelsea's Havertz. Kai has an advantage over his teammates. His father knows exactly what it's like to be a young talent on the radar. Wayne broke every goal-scoring record on his way to the first team and debuted just five days before his 17th birthday. He'll have some very helpful advice for his eldest. Number seven, Shane Clowford. Shane is the youngest son of Patrick Clowford, a former FCB and Dutch international legend. And like his dad, he plays for FC Barcelona, for the under 15s to be precise. Under the watch of his dad, Shane is becoming an interesting young player. He's quick, agile, a goal threat, and a Kool-Aid through and through. His idol, Leo Messi. Another role model of his is Marcus Rashford. Heck, he's even got Diego's blessing. But there's one more thing you should know about Shane. He has a backup plan if football doesn't work out. Years ago, he became a YouTuber, a cooking one to be more precise. Number eight, Romeo Beckham. The son of David and Victoria, there is zero chance for Romeo Beckham to ever be on the job market for a regular nine to five. Nope, the kid, already a young man, is on his way to becoming a footballer in the US. He signed for his dad's team, Inter Miami, and plays for their reserve team, Fort Lauderdale CF, in the USL League One. He also plays there alongside Harvey Neville, the son of Phil. Romeo trained for years at Arsenal, a legendary academy in European football, and is now trying his skills in the US. He wears the number 11, but plays on the right wing like his dad used to, and he bends it like Beckham. He also models like Victoria, so he's good. Number nine, Safe Ribery. He has loved football since he started walking, revealed proud father Frank to German newspaper Bill. During the 2020 lockdown, the Reberies took it as an opportunity to train together. Reberie Sr. revealed his dream is for young Safe to follow in his footsteps, but he knows there's still a long ways to go. Safe has trained with the Fiorentinas and Bayern Munich's youth teams. The future is unknown, and being the son of a football legend doesn't guarantee you anything. Just ask Jordi Cruyff. However, in the past years, we've seen many sons of footballers put on the boots. Some of them have even had better careers than their fathers, like Gonzalo Higuain. Time will tell what's what, but almost all of the players in this list have something about them that make us think we'll be hearing their names for years to come. Who do you think will be the best out of them? Leave your thoughts in the comments. We can't predict the future, but Cristiano Ronaldo sure can. He made an incredible prediction to his best friend when he was 14 years old. The prediction eventually came true, down to the letter. Check it out here.